Hi, this is Brett Premack. Uh, this Saturday, February 1st, I'm going to be doing a hang with three amazingly talented young women. Shirazette, Mimi, and Camille. And in this case, Camille Thurman, uh, whose new recording is just being released this week. She's here with us to have a little preview of the hang. Hello, Camille. Hello. <laughs> Nice to have you here. Uh, Thank you for having me. <laughs> I've been listening to, to this wonderful recording, Origins, which is all original compositions and features mm -hmm. uh, Camille's writing, her playing, and also her singing. Uh, and I just wanted to ask you, uh, when you first started with music, did you start as an instrumentalist or as a vocalist? I actually started as a vocalist. I used to sing as a little girl around the house, just mimicking my mother because she would sing too and she played a lot of music so that was my first instrument. <laughs> and it was, was it Dexter Gordon that inspired you to play the saxophone? Yes, it was Dexter Gordon from his uh, album Go, Second Balcony Jump. First time I heard that song, his tone and his phrasing, it gave me goosebumps. <laughs> and how did you go about learning to play the tenor, Camille? Well, I went through learning the tenor, actually through learning the flute. Um, I picked up the flute in middle school and my band teacher told me that the fingering was similar to saxophone and I found a saxophone mouthpiece and I said, hey, do you think I could borrow a horn for lunchtime? And he gave me a saxophone and I've been playing it since. And who, who were some of your teachers? Uh, some of my teachers, Bruce Williams, Abraham Burton, Antoine Roney, Bill Saxon, Tia Roper, um, Dottie Anita Taylor, Peter Archer. Yeah, yeah. Just had some 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 good people to work with. Now yeah. we were talking before a little bit about the origin of origins. Uh, mm -hmm. when, when did you conceive the recording? When did you record it? And what's been the process by which it's, you're distributing it now? Well, I conceived the concept of origins while I was in college. Um, I was a geological and environmental science major, and for some reason I had this funny theory about life being a, just an ex example of life, of, of, I'm sorry, of nature, and seeing how nature works and studying it, I kind of got this idea that like people work the same way, so maybe the principles of life are similar to the principles of nature, and I started thinking, and I came up with some melodies, thinking about some of my beginnings, what made me love music, how did I get started, just like we learned in earth science, how the earth began, and all those great things. And I just came up with origins, all these different melodies, and trying to tell the story of how I fell in love with it, and how I got here. <laughs> And how did you decide who to include on the recording? Well, Shira's at ten, and she's like my sister. Um, we've been working together for the last couple of years, so it was like just a natural idea to just go with having her featured on a couple of the tunes. Luis Perdomo, he's a really great dear friend of mine and also a mentor, so um, I decided to have him on there because I wanted my family to be there. Rudy Royston. He is the husband of my big sister mentor, uh, Shami Boyston, who I just recorded with on her album, Portraits. And he happened to be in town. I asked him, I was like, in exchange for babysitting some children, can I have you on my recording? And he was like, of course. <laughs> so he played on there. Uh, Corcoran Holt, I knew from playing in different circles with the same friends. We've seen each other all the time, and I, I knew he was an amazing bassist, and I always wanted to play with him. Uh, Enoch Smith, Jr., he was another mentor and brother of mine who would, you know, encourage me compositionally. So he helped me with putting some of this stuff together, and I asked if he would do the honor of playing on there. And Brandy, younger, um, one of those, you know, musicians that we constantly keep bumping into each other, but we always wanted to play, but never got a chance to. And I was like, okay, Brandy, here's the date, here's the music, let's make some good music. So. And uh, how did it come to be released? I know that you recorded it some time ago. How did it come to be released mm -hmm. on uh, 
a tritone music? Well, Hot Tone Music was the idea of bassist Mimi Jones. And at the time, I met her when I first got out of college when I decided that I was going to stick with music and be done with being an environmental scientist. And she was helping me along the process of figuring out what I wanted to do. And I was kind of not sure about taking that big step, doing my own album. And she just was like a mentor, just each step of the way, helping me with brainstorming and you know, trying to find out what is that story that you want to say and how can you get it on paper and how can you get it to the listener and be able to, you know, make some music with it and also make a statement. And just the whole process, she kind of came up with this idea of like, you know, you were kind of like my, I guess, guinea pig of um, how this comes together. She came up with the idea of hot tone music, putting a label out helping artists help artists discover, you know, who they are and become familiar with themselves in this business. Well, uh, these three releases by these three amazingly talented young women, uh, Mimi Jones, who is uh, Camille's mentor of sorts, has an album called <laughs> Balance, and uh, Shirazette Tinnen, uh, uh, Camille's good friend, has uh, Purity of My Soul, and Camille's album is called Origin. And we'll talk more uh, on The Hang uh, on Saturday uh, about these recordings. And uh, Mimi and uh, Shirazette will be joining us. So thank you, uh, Camille, for this uh, preview. Thank you, Brett. And please tune in on Saturday at noon Eastern time for The Hang. Thank you so much.